What's going on, everybody? It's boy Long Island Fish Guy here. If you are watching uh, on the replay, I definitely do appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate it. We're going to be talking about a lot of different things here. I'm on my phone, so we're going to be moving around here, having a lot of fun. I'm just doing something with my laptop real quick. Just because sometimes I miss out on the comments. You! What's up, one fish, two fish? So what I'm doing is I'm going here. Yeah, Bam's the man. I was just over there. And, oh, I was watching some of the comments and stuff. Uh, Bam and Rob, they're definitely pretty cool. Rob featured me on his channel, which I definitely do appreciate. Um, so, see, this is why I always... I like to live stream on my phone. So I don't really get to see a lot of the comments that come by. So I kind of got to see them as I go. That's why I want to get my laptop going here, too. What's up, Daryl? How you doing, dude? Go on, fish topic. How you doing? Let me get this going here. But uh, if you're coming over from Bam's channel, uh, I am going to be on there next week. So I'm super excited about that. It's going to be my first like interviewee type uh, hangout in like live stream. So again, I'm going to be super excited about that. Never really been a part of those. Uh, but I definitely want to start like being a part of those or even doing some of them on my channel as well. So we'll see what happens. Don, I didn't know you're from Arizona. I'm just putting this in a, on a tripod so I can get a little bit. What part of Arizona are you from, Don? I got family over there. That's why I'm asking. I need some art on those walls. You're actually not the first person to say that to me. This is like where my fish tanks are. So like, that's the art, you know? That's the art right there. Bam, what's up, man? Thanks for uh, shouting me out on your live stream before. If anyone's going live after my live stream, it's gonna be over in an hour. <laughs> Definitely, you know, feel free to let me know towards the end. What's up, everybody? Hey, Susan, how you doing? Oh, by the way, speaking of fish, since we're all here because of fish, Check this out. If you watched my last video, I kind of went through some of the goodies that my fiance gave me. She got me one of these bad boys. This is like the, uh, it's a green Pleco. So if anyone's like a Pleco fan, uh, man, I was thinking about like, maybe doing some posters and stuff down here, but this is my, I'm, so anybody who doesn't know or anyone who's new to my channel, I'm engaged. I'm living currently home in my parents' house. This is my parents' house. They luckily let me have the fish tanks and stuff down here. And I'll be moving out soon. So I do want to set up this saltwater aquarium I have down here. Thanks. For, I'm just talking with this pleco on my hand. <laughs> the um, So I will be setting up a new saltwater tank, but after I move out. So I'm engaged, as he knows. Let me go ahead and mute this here so I can see the comments and all this good stuff. SC fish keeping in the house. What's up, Zach? How you doing, dude? Thanks for stopping by. Um, but yeah, you know, we're going to get another place. We're going to obviously have a fish room, have a fish house or something along those lines. Yeah, 16 watching, five likes. Oh, come on, we gotta show some love. 17 people now, let's go. So, I don't have anybody here, just me. So what are we gonna talk about? Let's talk about something that's happening to me recently. So, get the promise of fish room in writing. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, she's a fish, when I first started getting into the hobby, she wasn't into the fish thing at all. She kind of looked at it as weird, but um, not weird, but like, she just wasn't into it. Now, if I'm going to like a fish store or something, she's like, okay, let's go. Like, oh, it's a 45 minute drive to Aqua Hut. Okay, that's fine, let's go. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah. So, something I've been going through recently for the fish keeping hobby. I have a Pleco and I hope you guys will quarantine. This is my quarantine tank. It's basic, it doesn't have the lights on or anything right now. Uh, just because I just added in a my Magnum Pleco. I put him back in there. 
Listen to this. What do you guys treat with for it? Whoa, what is that? What is that? Is that an alien? Wait, let me see this for a second. Guys, is there an, oh my goodness. Is there an alien in here? Nope, that's just Steve the Stingray. Yep, Stingray boys. Steve, you know, you know. Steve's my boy, Steve's the Stingray. He's, he's the man, I mean, take a look. Can we just take a moment and really appreciate this, this, this beautiful animal? As he's having his flap up in the air. Steve is one handsome fellow. So one thing recently I did to Steve's tank that's a little different is I added in some of these rainbow fish. You know what? Let me turn off the lights down here. You guys don't want to see my face. I mean, I'm not a bad looking guy, but you know, you're here to see, you're here to see fish. You want to see fish. So we're going to have you see fish. Hold a flap in the air, wave it like you just don't care. I wish I had a flap. Wait, what? There we go, look at that. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. A little bit later on the stream, maybe we'll feed him. If you guys haven't seen already, go check out my video on how to feed a stingray. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I actually utilize this. So we all know what this is. Uh, one fish, two fish says, how old is he? Um, the stingray, when I got him, I was told he was three months old. That was about three months ago. So he's probably about six months old right now. Uh, to give you a pointer of reference of size, that's my hand. So he's not super big. His, his disc is probably about five inches. Stingrays grow at about a half inch per, per month. So he's probably grown a solid inch, inch and a half since I've gotten him. And he really has. Um, he's doing really well. He eats the Hikari carnivore pellets and he also eats shrimp, frozen shrimp. Um, check this out. Look at this. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen this post before. This hoplo catfish loves to just sit on this rock. It's like the perfect perch for him. Pete the Prochilatus. How are you, man? Hey, I see fish keeping. There it is. That's, that's, man, my boy Zach. Is, having moderators in a live stream is cool. That was cool. Wow. Zach, props to you, man. You got to get paid after this. <laughs> Yeah, but it's pretty cool. Also, guys, super fun fact about stingrays. If you've never owned a stingray or if you're ever thinking about owning one, let me show you something. Uh, so when you feed a stingray, you can tell if they're, like, you know, you can look for a belly, if a, if a belly's full in a fish or something like that. Ooh, someone just spooked them. You know, if a belly's full, you're going to see it right underneath there. That's, you know, their belly. On a stingray... You're going to see it on the top. You're going to see it like right there. That's also how you can also see like if, a fit, if the stingray is like pregnant, if it has pups. Now it's very hard to tell if a stingray is pregnant, has pups. But and sometimes you'll actually like go downstairs in your basement or your fish room and just be like, wow, I have more stingrays in here than, than the, I had before. But it's, you know, it's cool. I mean, who the hell knew that their stingrays have like stomachs on their tops? Well, they don't have stomachs there just to get so bloated or so much food in there i don't know you know what i mean and look at female jack dempsey she's looking great so if you guys watched my last video um this tank is getting pretty clear i um have been doing water changes left and right on this tank kind of annoying and don't really judge me on the aquascape because it's not really the greatest. I literally just threw this wood in here. That's the only piece of wood that kind of stayed the same. But yeah. I know a lot of people, like, I'm kind of new. Not, I'm a little bit new. I'm off. Going back to bed. Peace out, John. Jo or jo John? I don't know. I could have been saying that wrong. Let me turn this. Hold on two seconds. Sorry, guys, I was getting notifications there. Johan. Johan. Right, that's it? Johan? Um, 
I know a lot of people do like Q&A. You know, they like to kind of set up a laptop and kind of just like talk to you guys for a little bit. Kind of have like a little bit of like Q&A type things. Johan. There we go. Um, yeah, so if you guys have questions or anything like that, feel free. Because this live stream is only as good as you guys. Otherwise, you'll see me just like going nuts and going crazy and running around. And we could do that. I like being the crazy guy that runs around the basement with the lights off with the fish tanks on. But we can do that. Um, what else? What else? Let me ask you guys this question. <laughs> uh, why do I have a thing for fancy plecos? So anybody who doesn't know, I am the Long Island fish guy. I feed the ray. I'll, Mitch, I'll be feeding the ray. Don't worry. I'm going to feed him at like... I'm going to probably start getting it ready at maybe like 30. So about 30 minutes in, we'll start feeding the fish. So I'll give it about 20 more minutes. The... When I first got into the hobby, I was definitely like a big cichlid guy. Like my first fish I got was this boy right here. My big boy, Oscar. Oscar. George. George the Oscar. He's the man. He's huge. He's a really big Oscar. He's last time I measured him, he was about ten and a half inches. And that was like six months ago. So he's probably around 11, 11 and a half inches right now. And I was always a cichlid guy, which, you know, is the reason why I have a Jack Dempsey, I have a Peacock Bass, I have this Pike, and then, you know, I got the catfish to go along with it. You know, every single cichlid needs to go with a really cool catfish. I even have things like Geophagus in here. I got a Severum over there. I even kind of got into, like, the smaller type cichlids. So... There's an epistogramma. So Oscars do have teeth. Uh, fish top, fish top, bleh, fish tropic says, do Oscars have teeth, or can you like lip them like a bass? They have very small, fine teeth. I don't know if you could see it in there, but if you get bit by an Oscar, it's going to bite, a hurt, and it probably will draw some blood. There are some videos online of people getting bit by Oscars. And uh, you could definitely see that the you definitely see that it draws blood from them. The what's the fish with the yellow black bars at the tail? I can't remember. So that right there is a flag tail, aka the Prochilatus. So the fun fact about this fish is, and by the way, his name is Steve. Uh, I'm sorry, not Steve. This is Steve. Steve, Pete, Pete, Steve. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm getting all over the place here. Susan, I've been keeping fish. So I started keeping fish when I was probably like seven years old with my dad. Um, and then we stopped when we were like 13, 14 ish. And then I got back into it when I was like 25 and I'm 27 right now. So I'm uh, probably actually 26. Um, the, and I've been, I'm probably back at this now for two, three years, actually. I've been doing fish keeping again, back on for three years. Um, I can, I can get into that a little bit later on, actually, too, right after I explain all this stuff. So this is a Pete, this is Pete the Prochilatus, aka the Flagtail. He's an omnivore, I'm sorry, he's more of a herbivore, but he, he's not the greatest herbivore. He's supposed to be eating a lot of like the black beard algae that's on here, and he's not. Um, he eats shrimp pellets. He eats carnivore pellets. So he's a very bad prochilatus, but he is a very cool prochilatus. He's got great personality. He sometimes likes to school with the angelfish in here. Um, someone just asked as well, how big do Oscars get? Now, if you read wherever you read, you'll see that they can get to be like. 12 inches, 10 inches. Sometimes you'll even see that they get to be 15. Like, I don't like saying if this fish, like, people like hardcore facts. Like, when you Google something, you want to get the facts. You want to find out exactly what it is. I have a cough. What's wrong with me? I have a fish. How big does it get? 
and you want to see 12 inches and you want that to be at the hardcore facts. Googling how big a fish gets is like Googling how big a human being gets. Now we all know human beings that are five foot four, five foot five, five foot eight, six foot three. There's some NBA basketball players that are seven foot. Most Oscars top out of 12 inches, aquarium, but uh, yep. Basically, Zach just killed it right there. Like, it really depends upon the size of the tank. It all depends on the actual Oscar, its genetics, where it came from. Some can be staying at 10 inches. Others can be 15. I've actually seen 15 inch Oscars with my very own eyes, not on YouTube. And I was shocked. I was like, holy moly, that's huge. Um, so yeah, like that's like Severums, for example. Like This guy could get to be, I've seen Severums be like almost like short body Severums. I've also seen them get to be just as big as, you know, 10, 12 inches. Well, maybe not 12 inches. But they get pretty big, too. So, like, yeah. Pete's just like, like, Pete was just hanging out inside the sand. And, oh, man, my wave maker fell off over there. Pete was hanging out in the sand. And then I all of a sudden I go live, and this is what he starts doing. Like, he's just killing, like, like, should we, should I even talk? Or should this just be the live stream? What did I say? Did I say Pete? What is wrong with me? Yes. Don. You know what's funny, Don? I have a funny... Every single one of my fish down here literally have a funny story of, like, getting them. It's, like, ridiculous. So, like, this green severum... Actually, the label said turquoise. So, Don, if you're, like... And by the way, the tank is not this dirty. This side of the tank just gets really funky because both of my filter intakes are over there. Um, <laughs> I know all the names, Zach. Trust me. It's just I'm, I'm losing. I'm like it's like calling your your kids by different the same names or different names, whatever. Both my filter intakes are over there, so this side of the tank gets a little bit like cloudy and stuff. Not cloudy, but um, it's particles. Also, a lot of that's like algae over there. So back to this, the. Is, Don, is this a green severum or a turquoise severum? I'm not really sure. But anyway, he was in a pet store for literally like four months. And this pet store never gets fish in. But I always saw this severum. And I go, huh. I like cichlids. I love cichlids, you know. I, and he's a really good looking severum. Should I get him? And at the time, the severum was probably half the size he is right now. And was nowhere near as good looking. But it was like literally selling for like $3. So one day I go in there after probably seeing it for like four or five times and I go, you know what? Let me just get him. And if I don't like him, whatever. It'll just be a fish that I'm not really the biggest fan of. But I've gotten him and he's really grown on me. Exactly. Three bucks well spent. Green Severum according to the web. I agree. I think this is Green Severum. I don't think there's anything like a turquoise Severum. But he's great looking. Great looking fish. We're spending like a lot of time on my 75. And I don't know why. Every stream I do, I always spend a lot of time on my 75 gallon. And I think it's because Steve Stingray is in here. Um, but let's, let's, Zach brought up a really great point before. Plecos. Let's talk about plecos. Do you guys have any experience in keeping fancy plecos? Um... Yeah, Severums definitely do have a great personality. Um, probably my in my experience, they are less aggressive than Oscars, and they don't get as I kind of can't even say that. I feel like they're like the easier Oscar to have, if that makes any sense. I was gonna say like the better looking Oscar, but like it's all depending upon the fish and also your preference. Just a common rhino pleco. She was beautiful. Had to rehomer. Oh man, Susan, why'd you have to re rehomer? I keep plecos. Hey y'all, what's up, Dan? How you doing, man? I look at fancy plecos like getting first shrimp. <laughs> the so Susan, take a look at this. Oh, outgrowing the fifty-five. Yep. This is a rhino pleco. Uh, he's pretty big. He's probably about six inches. Yeah. Yep, the rhino plecos. That's 
That's what they do. Check that out. Rhino Plecos are cool. This is, I, so if you're just tuning in, I do water changes on this tank like crazy because of the cloudiness. Because if you didn't see my last video, um, go check out my last video. This tank is super cloudy because of a mistake I did. This is all from a Rhino Pleco that's in here. And I literally did a water change on this tank maybe two days ago. And there's the Rhino Pleco. And I have this Rhino Pleco in here with some, some pretty serious fish. I mean, it's probably the smallest fish in here by far. Um, and I have an Oscar in here, Peacock Bass, who is like an animal. We're going to feed these fish in like 10 minutes. So so on the topic of plecos, let's go through them, shall we? Some of them will be out, some of them won't. So you'll just have to take my word for it. So... Also, if you are new to my channel, um, Zach, you have a common pleco that rarely poops? It's probably very backed up. You should probably put some Pepno-Bismol in there. Um, <laughs> oh, Zach, you're a troll, man. <laughs> uh, Susan, you gotta leave? All right, thanks for tuning in. Be good. We appreciate it. All of us at the Long Island Fish Guy community. Parasites. Don't mention parasites to me tonight. Please, please. I think my Magnum Pleco is parasites right now. That's the fish that's down. Whoa, where'd he go? He was... Oh, there he is. I know it's kind of dark. Thanks, Susan. Thank you, Susan. That's my Magnum Pleco. I'm not even going to spend a lot of time on him. Just because he's in quarantine and lights are off. I just moved him in here today. I'm treating, treating with Prazi Pro. I also have in here a gold nugget. There he is. There's the gold nugget. And you can barely see him. Yeah, so really brief on the Magnum Pleco. And by the way, I am doing the Tim Tebow right now. I am on one knee, like about to propose again. Like, fish fam, will you marry me? And by the way, check out this sh yo. Shout out to my fiance again. I'm, she's not here at my house right now, but if you're watching this, she got me the 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 she got me the the gimbal I used in my last video. She got me this. She, it was a really fish. It was a fish miss for Christmas. She got me one of these shirts. She's a fish fish fishance fishance. Wow. She's my fish. <laughs> I got to <laughs> Prize of Pro is good to follow up with Vemensol. And directions of the Prize of Pro isn't really good to follow. No, it's not. Um, I actually don't have... Where's the Prize of Pro right now? The Prize Pro... I read the instructions on here. And it was whack. Like, it was really crazy. And I just put it in there. I put, like, a full cap in there in the 10 gallon i know some people they'll even like overdo it to be honest with you i don't know anybody who has experience message me on instagram if you have an instagram account and let me know how you actually use prizy pro because i have no idea a little the story about the magnum pleco though and look at this look at this uplighting who would have thought uplighting is a good light uh the magnum pleco i put him in quarantine when I first got him, apparently he was in a fish store for like a couple of months, apparently. Um, I treated the tank with some nice general cure. What's up, Dan? How you doing? I was going to say just what I think with Liz, but you already know that. Yeah, I'm doing such a bad job because it's on my phone. And it just goes so fast. I can't read it quickly. I don't know, guys. I'm so sorry. But general cure, I treat the tank. Oh, if you treat all my general, all my quarantine fish with general cure um i did that for that magnum pleco and then a couple of weeks later i put him into my 75 and noticed he had a sunken stomach so now i moved him into my 10 gallon again my quarantine and i'm quarantining him i just put in some prazi pro i hope he makes it it looks like he was eating last night um fish Tropic says that Prizy is better. It's a cleaner med. 
I hope so. Um, I did use Prazi Pro once before, but again, the, the instructions are for Prazi Pro are so bad. They're so unclear and like just water change every two days with Prazi Pro. Like, do you have to like retreat it then? Like, how long do you have to do that for? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Someone help. 16 people in the stream right now. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We're doing a feeding in five minutes. Five minutes. Fish, how should I message you, Fish Tropic? I don't know how to. Got You got me on Facebook. Okay. We got this. Look, at my, look what I'm doing with my hair right now. I'm just freaking out over here. Um, but yeah, let's get back. Should we get back into the plecos? I don't want... Be right back in five minutes. Back for the feeding. Let's go. Don't forget to like that button. Three. Don, you only see three. I see 11 on here. Um, but yeah, should we talk about the plecos? Do, do we want to talk about the plecos? What are we... Whoa. New York old in the house. My New York brother. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. You got this. I can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Don. Don, he in the house. Is that life, is that life fish guy sponsored by Red Bull? No. But Red Bull, if you are watching and you want looking for a new person to sponsor, you can sponsor me. I uh, thank you. The okay, let's get back into the plecos. I see no objections here. NY Gold is in the house. And we're going to talk plecos. So we already spoke about the Magnum Pleco. We're not going to go in deep detail about that. Nobody wants to talk about parasites and negative stuff about fish. We want to... He's freaking about this. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm freaking out a little bit about the Mendozage. Not freaking out because... I don't know if that's the right word. The vampire Pleco's out. Shh. We don't want to smoke him. Don will get to the Royal Plecos. Royal Pleco is one of my... Ah, oh, man, we scared him off, man. So that right there, it's a vampire Pleco. Someone on Instagram thought that it was a snowball. Don, we're going to get to the Royal Pleco in just a second. And look, this right here, this is not a Pleco. This is a Hillstream Loach. Yep, it's just a little Loachy. little Loachy. We got three of them in here. So isn't it crazy, like, this is called a Loach? And, like, that thing right there is a horse face loach. A little crazy, right? How different they are. The fun fact about horse face loaches is, is they actually like to burrow deep down inside the sand. But, uh, yeah, even, even, I have plecos in here. Look, look at all the poop. So much poop. I literally just did a water change two days ago. But, uh, see, so people for the sick, look at, look at that big, gorgeous male epistogramma. Like, he is a beast. Hmm. Jeremy's in the house. Fish Tropic, let's, let's take this offline, my dude. Because uh, I hate meds. I just, like, when I get new fish, I'm like, damn. Now I gotta use meds. I hate using meds. But dude, Jeremy, Thanks for joining the stream. Dylan thinks I should upload Fortnite videos. Maybe. So, back to the... Uh, so, also in this tank, just quickly, just, just so we're not just bullshitting and oh, uh, doing stuff. There's also a blue phantom pleco in here. I don't think he's coming out. He's been hiding a lot recently. Um, it's funny because... They reversed. The blue phantom pleco used to hide a lot, and now the vampire hides a lot. Or, or it was for, the vampire used to hide a lot, and the blue phantom was always out. Now the vampire is always out, and the blue phantom likes to hide a lot. I also have these whiptail catfish. They're kind of like plecos too, but they're not. Ooh, breeding behavior, breeding behavior, spawning behavior. Also have a video on that. This is a. Literally a tiny male, a like he's like 
one, he's actually grown a lot since I've gotten him. He's probably about two inches, two, uh, two and a half, three inches. Um, he it has, this is like an alpha male Geophagus Steindakari. Like he is alpha AF. He's the most alpha fish probably down here. Like the hump on his head is already coming in at such a small age, low age. And look at the coloration on his body. He's with two females, and he literally won't stop chasing them around. <laughs> and my gold is a default skin. Um, I mean, look at the look at the the pearl like on him, the iridescence on him. Like he's just gorgeous. And that's like his go-to female. That's like his. Uh, it's like his go-to girl, you know. It's like he's lonely late at night and he's like, hey, what's up, girl? How you doing? We, we doing it tonight or what? Like, that's that's her. That's her. That's that's his girl, you know? And then, you know, when he wants to switch it up, he's like, hey. Hey, what's up? Well, you know, you're not the best looking, but, uh, you know, you got all the parts I need. Typically, I'm very G-rated on here. I apologize. I'm feeling myself right now, and I'm getting into it. It is also 31 minutes into the stream. I did say we were going to feed the fish at 30 minutes in. After I'm done talking about the plecos, we are going to go ahead and feed these fish. Let's take a, let's take a break. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to maybe run into my parents. We're not going to take a break, exactly. We're going to go get the food ready for Steve the Stingray. So, get ready to say hello to mom and dad. We're in the kitchen. Dance? Yeah, ma? You playing basketball? Nope, no basketball tonight. We're live streaming. No basketball tonight. I'm in the kitchen. I got you, good treats. you got me treats? Yeah. What kind of treats? Like dog treats? All right, guys. So I use regular frozen shrimp that you can get at your local supermarket. So let me do one of these. Look at this. Let me let me hold you guys up. So. I uh, don't feed herring. Eat the treats. So Steve... Ow! This water's hot! What? I'm finishing his fish tank soon. I texted him tonight. And he said that Saturday and Sunday work best. Look at this. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, if Saturday, if Saturday is bad weather, then it's the perfect time to work on a fish tank. <laughs> People joining the stream right now are probably like, what is going on? Ah, <laughs> oh, let's go. Yo, Rob's in the house. What's up? Rob. Where are these treats we're talking about? What right treats? Here. What treats? Right you want to say hello to YouTube, Mom? Okay. All right, say hello. Let's turn around. Say hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Very nice. We have nice popcorn treats now. Everyone say hi to my mom. Smash that like button for my mom. The vegetarian. My mom's a vegetarian. She wants you to know that. Hi, Mama Fish Guy. One of the best live streams ever. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a reality show. Thanks, Don. Tell your friends. <laughs> maybe, maybe next time my dad will come on. Um, so this is, you guys are literally going to like, this. the stream typically I want to have be like an hour. This might go over an hour. Um, listen, <laughs> maybe this will be a reality show one day. It's like uh, fish keeping with the fish guy. Did I come up with a name? So, you guys. So, I have a dog as well. Her name is Bella. 
if you're a loyal, loyal, so look, this this little pleco here, we like to put him right on top of the filter. This is, where, this is his little home. This is where he stays. His dorsal fin likes to flap over like this. So before we leave, we like to make sure, sure not Long Island fish keeping, Long Island fish, fish, whatever. I don't know. I, don't, I missed the writer's meeting. Bella. Bella? I, was, I saw the Bella notification. I was like, what? And by the way, guys, how do you feel like glass top aquariums versus like the plastic garbage? Like I had the plastic garbage like this right here. This is, I've literally in my quarantine tank, I've had fish like just go bloop. I've had probably three or four fish pop out of this tank before. Whereas I've never had a fish ever plop out of these. That's actually not true. One time, one time I was playing Fortnite my peacock bass literally literally was probably about an inch smaller i don't know what happened but he and as you can see water up here rob rob is 100 he's spot on rob you're spot on by the way this is my first time seeing your new channel name good job i like that i like that it's a little more brand oriented but um the i keep hitting this button but it's not a Put weight on the lid. I sometimes, so when I have a fish that I know it's a little bit of a jumper, what I'll do is I'll like take fish food and I'll just like put put it like that on there. Um, but yeah, so my peacock bass, my peacock bass jumped up out of here and jumped onto the floor. It was like fish inside of tanks. How often do you clean your glass lids? Do you, do you really want me to answer how, how often I clean my glass lids? Because I'll give you the fake answer, and I'll give you the real answer. Now, the real, the, I'll give you the fake, the fake answer to how often I clean my lids is I clean them once a week. The real answer, yo, Matt's monster fish in the house. The real answer to how often I clean my lids is like once every three months. Wow, you think they look clean? Hold on a second. Let me expose how dirty they are right now. Like, I get algae on them. Like, see that? The green? Like, I probably haven't cleaned this in maybe two months. Um, these look clean. I'll admit, like, this looks... The worst part about these lids is, like, they get dusty. I play Fortnite on Xbox, but you can cross platforms, you can play anywhere. So you, whether your computer or whatever you can play. Like I have rings of like what do you call it on here? Um but like see like the I have a little bit of dust, but you know, like the my filter boxes are like so like look at that. Like that's not even like dust. Like I don't even want to touch that. That's like poop coming back up. Check the yeah, you got some power in there, you know what I mean? Got a lot of got a lot of filters in here. Yo, add me on Xbox. Anybody who plays Xbox or any social media, anything, I'm always Epi712. So that's E P P Y 712. Can I, can I comment in here? Can I, can I write this? I can't. I don't know. Can I? I don't think I can write in here. Ew, PS4. Um, so let me start feeding these guys. I kind of want to put my. Oh, I know what I can do here. Look at this. Aquashella. Who's going to Aquashella? Who's going to the Shella of Aquashella? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Can, look, can we turn this? Because I want to try and get this. I can't do this. I can't do it. Wait, we're going to do it. Hold on. When, when there's a will, there's a way, guys. So I want to I wanna, I wanna have a nice little thing here where I don't have to... Go ahead and, you know, this is a little, little, here we go. All right, we're just going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to take the face off of here. We're just going to go. So my 29, I already put food in here, so I'm not feeding my 10 gallon, my 29 gallon. What I typically do is I feed it flake first. So we're going to go one handed. 
Alright, we're gonna put this up for a second. So, not seeing any comments right now, guys. I'm gonna go through all the stuff that I feed. I know, like, I watched Joey DIY. Like, he's probably my favorite YouTuber. I know a lot of people watching right now have YouTube channels. No offense, guys. We all have our favorites. But who doesn't like the king? You know, he's the king of DIY. He's the king of YouTube for us fish keepers, and he's the guy. So, not like some people who hate on him. You know who you are. Um, the, the, typically what I do is I go through like what I feed the fish. So I always start off my smaller tanks with, um, how is this camera angle by the way? This is actually a pretty good camera angle. I'm looking at, let me do this. Let me do this, let me see. I, I have the stream going on my laptop over there so I can kind of like see if I'm like, how's this? Oh, this is good. This is good, guys. Again, I'm not watching the comments right now, so I apologize. I could actually watch the comments. Oh, I got this. I got this, we're gonna, we're gonna get this right now. We're gonna try. The Joey Bashers. And my gold, you know. You know who I'm talking about? All right, so 29th first. Now, they know. Oh, they know. They know it's coming. Now, these, these Colombian tetras, they go nuts. As you can see, they're not going nuts right now. Let's try to get this a little bit lower for you guys. Evil Grabbers is right. But, uh, peer pressure. No peer pressuring. I, I will not stand for peer pressure. There is no peer pressure. Oh, wait a second, guys. We got this. We're going to get a really good view. I'm sorry. I'm trying to work with my tripod right now, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. This tripod's the worst. When you, when you get a tripod on Amazon, this is what you get. I can't get this. What the heck? Let me move this a little further back. We got this. I'm sorry, guys. This is this is what happens when you when you got the quick live stream going on. All right, we're gonna just do this quick instead of stay on this forever. So next up, I'm gonna feed up my carnivore pellets. Notice here the the, the vampire is coming out. Look at that vampire. Sick. Look at look at it. Look at that. Look at that pleco. How could you not love that pleco? I did peer pressure, Nick mentioned, to getting a fish tank. Guys, if you don't know Nick, he's the guy who's in my videos. He's on my Aqua Hut run, the incredible rare fish. And he also is the new fish tank video. Looking good. A pleco? You saying plecos don't typically look good? You wait till we get to the royal pleco. How dare you? How dare you say for a pleco? How dare you? Now this is like a little OCD of me. I don't have actually OCD, but like I like to do five per whatever. So I'll put like one, two, three, four, five. That's it. That's all the regular food. Then later on tonight, when I turn the lights off, I'll put some algae wafers in. So this tank's good. There's a lot of flake in there. There's a lot of smaller mounts, a lot of smaller fish. We're gonna move on to the 125, where hopefully we can get a good view of. And I'll double check that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, look at the view! Look at the view! Look at the view! This, this is all, this is, this is all on the fly, guys. We're all flying right now. This is all flying. We're gonna we're gonna kill this. We're gonna kill it right now. I feel I feel like I have separation anxiety because I'm not with you guys right now. Let me look. I got I got the comment section right here. I'm walking around with fish food. Is it Nick or Mitch? 
It's Nick Mitch. All right, here we go. So, where's my, what, I'm carrying around food, I'm getting a little lost. Woohoo! Watch this peacock bass, guys. Let's watch him. Man, they're getting spoiled. They, they were, they've been, Man, they're getting spoiled. Look at them. He's not even jumping anymore. He's like Jabba the Hutt now. He's just chilling. I didn't feed. I was sick a few days ago, and I didn't. I didn't feed the fish down here for two days, and I felt bad because stingray not allowed, like supposed to, not allowed, not supposed to not feed stingrays for a long period of time, and I uh, I did it. And I came down the next morning and I fed all the fish uh, after I was feeling a little bit better. And this tank lost so much water <laughs> because the peacock bass and the Oscar, they didn't eat for two days and I, I feed every day, I feed like six days a week. They legit went crazy, like splash, whatever. It was insane. Let me see what else. Let's see what's going on here. I mean, he's doing it, but the Oscar's not even hitting hard. Okay. Let's see the comments here. All right. So, guys, I don't know how you feel about this. Aquion, you make great tanks. You make okay filters. You make absolute garbage food. I bought this because there was like three of these for like $10 on Amazon one day on like a fire sale. So I was like, Aquion's a good company. I'll try it out. This is literally the shittiest food you could ever buy for your fish. Don't, I do not recommend buying it. This is my last container of this. I literally barely feed any of it just to put as a filler. And I think that majority of this food is filler. It's just, uh, uh, let me go with this. It's just the worst. Like, it's absolutely the worst. Um, but I just put, like, a little pinch in. Literally, I put, like, maybe a total of 10 pellets in. Like, it's not a lot. It probably tastes good because the fish do eat it. They like it. Um, but it's so powdery. It's disgusting. It's bad. Like, comparing this to this, it's, like, apples and oranges. It's, it's terrible. But uh, next up, this is what I like. So if you watch my top five, my top five foods to feed my fish, I made these my number one. And I said, great marketing, uh, Hikari, because this is the same formula. So like a big bag of this, like the biggest bag of this is like $40 for like two pounds. This is... 13 ounces, which is just over a pound. And this is like 25. Like, and the price difference of these are so different in regards to the comparison of the size you buy. Same formula. If you read the back on here, it's literally the same exact formula. These are the, the massive more delight is bigger pellets and the carnivore pellets are just the smaller version of it. So what I do in my 125, Notice how anyone who's been in the stream for a while, notice how I'm calming down a little bit. I'm calming down. We'll get crazy again, don't worry. So I like to, this peacock bass, all the fish in here go nuts for this. So we're, I like to separate it so they all get a chance to eat. Like notice how that pike just went crazy right there. And then I'll throw down one for the Oscar. And he just plops it right there. Oh! In fact, I'm so, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I feed that first, um, and then I go back into the technique I used for the 29, and I use five of the carnivores, because like, I don't know what you guys do, like if you portion out your food or not, but like, I like to portion out my foods a little bit. Like I know, 
Like I know like like a little bit as to like if I'm going for like a pinch of something. Like I don't know. I used to overfeed so much when I first got back into the hobby. And I used to say like to kind of cover up for it, like, oh I like to overfeed to make sure my fish are healthy. But you really shouldn't be overfeeding just because it's not good. It's like after you go to like an all you can eat buffet or you go to like your favorite restaurant and they have really big portions. You feel like sick afterwards. You don't want your fish to always be like that. So two four five and the bass just ate like four of those two four five and the oscar gets two because he always stays down over there again just like 29 gallon that's it for the food in there and later on tonight i'll go ahead and put some algae wafers in when i turn the lights off because i do have a rhino pleco in that tank and also Algae wafers aren't just for plecos. It's healthy. That's like saying, well, human beings, I don't know, we're not gonna get into other types of conversations. <laughs> but it's like saying you are only, I love eating steak. I'm only gonna eat steak. You also need to eat that salad. Otherwise you're gonna screw up your intestines and stuff. Things with leverage. So if I'm only feeding carnivore pellets, a very, very um, meaty type diet, it's gonna block up the fish. You gotta feed them other things so that they can actually pass, uh, you know, the food and also just have good overall healthy lives. And also, it's very unhealthy to keep like feeding fish the same type of food over and over and over again. So you're always gonna wanna try and vary up their diets. All right, guys, we're, get, we're, we're coming down the home stretch here. And then don't forget what we're doing. What do we do upstairs? What do we do upstairs? We now yeah, we're gonna have a bad angle again because the 125 is so tall. It's like a very tall tank. The stand is tall. Let me see if we got a good look here. Let me see. Let me see. How we doing? Are we good? Are we good here? Right. We can move it a little bit. We can move it a little bit. We can move it. Is this good? Is this good? How is this? Yo, what's up, David? How you doing, man? How's my bass doing? Matt, yo, he's, he's doing well. Anybody who doesn't know, um, so, uh, guys, I literally like want to look at the comments and stuff so much. I just uh, peeked at the comments. David, thanks for joining in. Um, me and Matt one time, Matt's Monster Fish, we spoke about my peacock bass. I won't ever have a home, a permanent home for him, probably for when he gets bigger. So I do need to find a home for him. And Max Monsterfish did say that he would be willing to take him. So there will be an upcoming video, whether it be in three months from now or maybe even one year from now, I don't know, um, of me packaging up my peacock bass who's nameless, and sending him over to Ohio to Matt's Monster Fish. Definitely gonna wanna check that out. It's definitely gonna be like a two-parter type thing where it's like you see the first part of it, like me packaging up the peacock bass, and hopefully Matt will do like an unboxing video of him actually receiving the peacock bass. Um, like, I love shit like that. Like, it's so, like, before I started this YouTube channel, I was a viewer. You know, just like some people watching this, I know a lot of creators are in this, um, but I was a viewer. I watched Joey DIY. I watched a little bit of Rachel Leary. Um, someone who's probably not in this, Dan Hitshaw. He's one of the people actually, I, he's actually, he's not even like a big community guy. Like he kind of just a guy, he always says, I'm a guy with a camera and some fish tanks. Like he actually is the reason why I'm his account Dan Hitshaw. It's 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 it just sits in front of his fish tanks talking about his fish. It says it's like a documentation. And he was the reason why I got into actually making the YouTube videos. Because so I was like, you know what? I love fish tanks. And I kinda wanna document this too. And probably in like October and stuff, I would switch over from being a documenting my fish tanks and stuff to being like, hey, let me try to be like a creator. Like start editing my clips really well showing my i never used to for the first year and a half of this channel i never showed my face ever like 
doing something what I'm doing right now. Like, how many people are in this right now? We have 20 people watching right now. This is so crazy. Like, like, like in, if I did this in like September, like, I would not have anybody. I <laughs> would legit maybe like two people watching. I think even, I think even when I first started taking YouTube more serious in October, I like, I went live at one point and I had two people watching and I was like, wow, like Danielle, this is great. I have two people watching my live stream. Like, I literally felt like a kid at a candy store. And, why am I, I'm going on like rant here, and I'm just trying to feed my fish. I'm just trying to feed my fish. I don't know. It's just cool how things happen, you know? That's why. My blue phantom's out. We spoke about him before. There he is. There he is. There he is. He's eating. He's eating. Look at them. They're like the, they're like the two best friends. But, uh, where is this guy? Where was he? Where was he here? Um... See, this thing's all crooked. Wait, here we go. Look at this, right? There we go. Now we're not crooked anymore. Metaphor for life. You might be down in life, but you won't be forever. You're gonna have ups and downs. When I first started on YouTube, I didn't know what I was doing. But now, with some help of my friends, I think I have a better understanding. I think. I don't know. I could be so wrong. I should probably check the comments after that rant. Don't forget the royal. Um, and Zach from SC Fishkeeping, dibs on Steve when I get rid of him. How dare you? Steve ain't going nowhere. He's staying right here. He's not staying right there because he's going into the 125 soon. So if you guys are watching this right now, I'm going to be coming out with a video of changing a lot of... Four fish are coming out of my 125 and every single last fish that's inside of this tank, with the exception of maybe my rhino pleco, I think I might... I have two rhino plecos, I might keep one in one still, so I just leave the plecos where they are. All of the fish will be coming out of this tank and be going into my 125. So, first up, cichlid gold, got the little ones, little babies. I do it for my gudgeon. Ugh. My birthday didn't want to come out. Ah. Do it for my gudgeon. The Severum doesn't like eating off the top. The Geophagus don't like eating off the top. So I just put a little bit in. We're gonna get the shitty ass Aquion. <laughs> Is it Aquion or Aquion? What do you guys say? Aquion or Aquion? Just throw a pinch in. That disgusting ass food. Literally, like, I, I think this is like. This isn't even like the fast food of fish food. This is like the, like disgusting, like, <laughs> it's like the disgusting deli that has like, like that's de like in a downstairs apartment. Like, like it's an apartment upstairs, like in Brooklyn. Like picture something in Brooklyn, like you have apartments upstairs and a restaurant downstairs. Like, there's a nasty deli or like Chinese food restaurant, like a pizza place with a like, dollar pizza. This is like a dollar pizza. Like this is like disgusting. Like, like you wouldn't, you'd eat this, like these fish need to be drunk at, at like two o'clock in the morning to eat this. It tastes good. But it's just garbage. Yo, David, no offense about Brooklyn, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What, Steve? What are you doing? It's your hot little cat, big brother. Same thing for the 125. We got one massive or delight. Now, they all kind of fool around with that. I kind of just put it in there just to introduce it to them for when they get a little bit bigger.
I hope someone screenshotted me looking into the fish tank like that. That could be a really good thumbnail for one of my videos. I was looking at the green, uh, the rainbow fish because they're kind of new still. I quarantine all my fish, but one just looked real sketchy for a little bit. But he looks fine. I don't know. Look, Steve, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Yo, I didn't know I was offending so many people from Brooklyn. Please don't come out to Long Island and kill me. So, Steve the Stingray, he eats frozen shrimp, but he also does like these. It's weird because he'll eat this, but not the mess or the lights. So this is like a little, little appetizer for him. Five, one, two, three, four. <gasps> we didn't feed the flakes for the rainbow fish. They're probably like, Daddy, Daddy, where's my flakes? Ah. Ah. There you go. And the perch will honestly eat those flakes too. All the fish will eat the flakes that are on the bottom. Alright, so we're going to put five over there. Put five more over here. And we're done feeding dry foods. Yay! Should we do a Fortnite dance? Because we're done now? I think so. Alright. So guys, we're going to go back upstairs, you're going to see me pretend to be a chef. I'm going to, yeah, let me close these tops to make sure no fish jump out. Let me flip this bad boy around again. Dylan, yo, you're still in here, man. I love it, Dylan. Represent the channel, mate. Fwah. Is my laptop about to die? Yeah, it looks like my laptop's about to die, boys. Can't be having the fun. Hit the orange justice. I don't know, man. Maybe a little bit later on in the channel. In the channel, mate. In the channel, mate. Say hi, mom. Hi. What about Bella? Hi, Belly Girlie. That's my dog, and her name is Bella. Yo, admit you love it, though. Weirdest stream ever, but you know you love it, though. All right, we're going to set this up like we're on a cooking show. We are a fish show, a reality show, and we're also a cooking show. Now, if you watched my how to feed a stingray video. Oh, no. 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 Guys, this, this tripod's killing me right now. I can't. Oh, there we go. Perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. Let's go. We're gonna lock it right here. Real housewives, oh, <laughs> real, real house, ugh, real house fish guys of Long Island. Good, that was good. Okay. Savage, w warning, savage things will be happening. I cut this very savagely. So first off, is that easy green on the counter? Yes, this is not the best looking counters. Don, don't leave, dude. You can't leave. If you do like this stream, make sure you smash that like button and tune into all my other streams. Also watch some of my videos. You know what it is. So we peeled off the shrimp and I'm gonna go wash this off again. 
Wow, a lot of people leaving the stream right now. Are we not into cutting shrimp? So I cut it in my hand. I know this is so savage. But I have done it for so long now that I just... And I take the... I take the... Uh, the... What do you call it out? You Guys, if you're planning on leaving the stream, you're not going to... You're at least going to want to watch this because it's pretty cool. And we're cutting it up. Don't leave, Donnie. Don't leave. Ah. You also might miss me cutting my hand, so. I do this because it's so much easier than cutting on a cutting board. I don't, I just cut right, but it's like cutting paper. Shrimp's not that thick. <laughs> Dave, I know. Do look, so look. <laughs> I've done this so much. I really have. Like, I don't put any pressure on it at all. I just cut right in between my fingers. I've done this literally probably a hundred times or more. And I have done it like that. Yo, and yo, and my goal, do you want to play after this? I'll play. You gotta add me as a, a friend. I'm gonna clean this later. <laughs> we'll, we'll wash this off later. Ah, 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 ah. All right, my gold. We'll play you later. You play, who's talking about playing Black Ops? Oh, that was Don Gallagher. Come on, unlock this. Unlock this, let's go. Now we're gonna screw this up for the whole stream. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Get that right back on there. Pick this back up. And we're back in business. I'm on the edge of glory. Bella could cut better than that. Don't, don't, don't. Hold on, guys. Let me close this door. That was so savage to say that my dog could cut better than that. That was so savage. Savage things were just said. That was... All right, guys, come, guys, where, what would, what do you want me to do? Get a cutting board every single night? I do this every single night. It's faster, it's easier, it's more simple. I'm about simplicity. Oh, I guess it's a long island thing. Damn, David, did me dirty. All Long Islanders are better than Brooklynites. <laughs> Yo, David, don't tell me you're like a Brooklyn Nets fan, bro. Because you hopped on that bandwagon. You got to be a, a Knicks fan. Because Brooklyn Nets, see, I know they're from New York. Oh, God. I just scared the crap out of the fish. Okay. Nah, I'm a Knicks fan. Good, 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 good. Good things are being said. All right, guys. We're going to see some cool stuff. So if you're just tuning into the live stream, you're, this is probably the coolest part of the live stream. We've been streaming for 68 minutes now, and we still have 12 people in the stream, so I'm happy about that. A lot of you guys have been with me since the beginning. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our top, okay? We're going to get our shrimp, put it back down here. This is, this is going to be cool. D oh, you got to watch this. This is cool. We're going to be using the Aquion tube to feed the shrimp, to feed this thing right. Because I'm going to show you what happens. So without the tube, we're going to put this in. And look at that. That's what happens. So if you just keep doing that, the other fish will eat the shrimp. Yeah, Dave, I know, man. All right, here we go. Dolly, I got this for you. Ready? 
we're gonna go like this. Stingray knows. We're putting the tube in. He knows. He knows what's coming. Watch this. Watch the way he behaves. Watch that. How cool is that, guys? So he's so trained that he knows that this tube means food. David, you should definitely get a stingray, dude. They're so cool. So typically, Steve, the stingray, will eat about three-fourths of the shrimp. Yeah, he, uh, he's cool. My next... <laughs> he's trained like Bella. No space for that for me. They get huge. This guy... So this is a mini marble Matoro Stingray. So it's going to... Own, its father is three years old and is only 10 inches. So there's a lot of you guys for a little bit. Did I just lose you guys? Sorry, we're just going to go call... Um, but yeah, you won't be able to find these guys in the, in the wild because that they're like captive, they're captive bred. Go ahead, Steve. So you can cut. So, whoa, no, no, bad purple spotted gudgeon. Don't do that. So, if you guys watched in the beginning of the stream, I said that when stingrays get a little bit, um, I got them from a breeder in Brooklyn, actually. Kells Stingrays. Um, yeah, purple spotted gudgeons are cool. I did just do a care guide on this guy, so you definitely check that out if you're thinking about getting one. Um, they're super cool, very personable. They're jumpers, so I always keep the water level a little bit low in this tank. Because he's actually jumped out of the tank twice before. But it's not, it's nothing crazy. They, they like to poach the, the surface. So they'll actually, um, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a Brooklyn Ray, dude. He came from a breeder, but look at his butt. See, he's been eating a little bit now. So his butt's a little bit, uh, see, even the fish are trained. The purple spotted gudgeon always hangs out by the mouth of this thing because he knows the shrimp comes out of it. So let me finish up this shrimp. And then um, Don Gallagher, I know you, you specifically asked for me to speak about the Royal Pleco. And I am. That's going to be the first fish I speak about. Look, all these fish, they already know it's coming. Steve's going to be done with this after this probably because he's looking kind of full right now. He ate some of the carnivore pellets. So typically what I do... Um, I mean, I'll keep feeding, but sometimes he'll show me when he's done. He goes on, by the way, I'm not just saying this. Stingrays are, are highly intelligent animals. Peace out, Dylan. Thanks for watching, man. Stingrays are actually in the shark family. Obviously, these freshwater stingrays are a little bit different, but they're in the same family as sharks. They're very intelligent. So... You could literally, like, train them. So people actually train them to be, like, hand-fed. And I kind of got to get the balls to do it. But I do plan on training him to be hand-fed. Uh, Steve. All right, go ahead. He's done, guys. So typically what I'll do now is I'll just plop... I know I'm waiting, you promise, I know you gave me word. I know, Don, I'll do it. So, I'm going to go ahead and... I have a couple fish in here that like to eat, like, carnivore-type stuff. So, I'm going to... And typically, I always put it in the 125, the food. Does he move sand around? Yeah, so... Check this out. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a slope up. And the reason why is because he always swims up and down the glass. Uh, and that's the signature move. Steve is done eating, guys. He's done. Now he'll just uh, 
Yeah, because look, you can actually see the glass. Actually, you kind of can't right now. But, um, Steve, uh, when he does that, you know he's done eating. He'll, he'll hide and just digest. Right there. And then it's funny, right on cue, this rhinopleco comes out when he does that. And all, all the scavengers all come out because he's the king. He's the king of the sand. He, he controls everything down here. This is, he sucks at hiding. He's, it's not a hiding thing. He's, he'll come back out in like probably 20 minutes and start swimming around again. I'm actually gonna take this last piece of shrimp and put this in my quarantine for my, my magnum pleco that I'm trying to nurse back to health. Just a little piece. Damn, this quarantine thing smells. I guess this is the Prazi Pro. Does Prazi Pro smell? All right. Guys, the stream has been going on for a long time now. Definitely longer than I anticipated. Um, I don't even know what time it is right now. It's probably like... What time is it? 10.15. Holy moly. Um... I'm not I'm not I'm not signing off now. Don't worry. Don't be don't be clicking out of the streams. 1018. Thanks, Rob. What new fish should I get? So let me let me let me appease Don first because I've been going off this for a while. Peace out, my gold. Thanks for tuning in, man. Appreciate it. Didn't mean to offend Brooklyn. <laughs> Let's get back into the plecos. So we already spoke about my magnum pleco briefly, a golden nugget pleco briefly, a blue phantom, and also the vampire. So we have a rhino pleco in this tank, and we also have one in this tank. We So we're going to skip the 125, and we're going to talk about my rhino pleco. I'm sorry, my... Uh, my Royal Pleco. Royal Plecos are fun. And here's the reason why. They're... Peace out, Zach. Thanks for tuning in, man. Thanks thanks for modding it up and sending some, some links and stuff. Real cool. Appreciate it, dude. Um, Royal Plecos, they actually have some very... Let's see if we can get it here, actually. They have, like, teeth. <laughs> Thanks, Ali. Appreciate that. Um, they actually have, like, teeth. So they eat wood. I have blackbeard algae all over this piece of wood here. But if you see, the there's, like, very small pieces. And the... Yeah, that's... His name is Steve the Stingray. And uh, he keeps swimming back and forth. I'm loving this. But the Royal Black... Wow, look at his colors. Wow, it's actually pretty crazy. He's actually looking like he's got a little bit of a sunken stomach right now, but it might just be from not eating. Because he didn't have that this morning. Now I'm freaking out. Um, Ali Slater's name is Steve. Royal Pleco, stay focused. Okay, so they eat wood. So what, if you ever have a Royal Pleco, you need to have wood in there because they'll actually like eat on top of the wood. On top of that... You, yeah, you're right, Don. He did come out right on cue because he was hiding before. Um, they'll eat algae wafers. They'll eat meat. They'll eat anything, basically. That's what, like, the number one thing that, like, people who own plecos do. They think, oh, they'll just eat the algae that grows on the tank. No. That's, like, supplemental food, the algae that's on the tank. Um, you're definitely going to want to feed them, uh, you know, the algae wafers. You're going to want to feed them the... Even carnivore pellets, whatever it is, you got to feed them. But uh, royal plecos are great. They get to be really, really big, but they also um, they also grow really slow. I'm not trying to do a care guide or anything like that. I'm just going around these plecos. And the rhino pleco. The rhino pleco is really cool. He's got that big like nose. He's pretty nasty, actually. Um, he gets a little little aggressive with the rhino pleco, uh, the royal pleco. Um, but he's very cool. This is definitely a male. See, like his tail on his uh, on his back seal, like that. There's like a light light 
brown, like blondish with a curl. That's like the signature male right there. Like this is a pretty dominant male. So a pretty interesting, cool Rhino Pleco. Sometimes I, he's on this piece of wood. I don't even see him. You got it, Don. I kind of thought about maybe doing like, I know people do, uh, peace out, Mitch. Yeah, I'm going to be signing off guys soon, next few minutes or so. But uh, I'm probably going to be doing a video soon of like, not one specific Pleco care guide, but like, all of my plecos and like how and show how different each pleco is um it's gonna take like a little bit of like a research type thing i typically like to show like a lot of like feeling and kind of go off the cuff in a lot of my videos that i make um i think this video is gonna be more of like a not necessarily scripted but like deeply outlined um and probably very heavily edited but i think it's something that's important for our hobby because i feel like there's a lot of fish in the hobby and, you know, as a creator on YouTube and, all right, man, peace out, David. Thanks for tuning in. I feel like we kind of have like an obligation to like teach the community. So, Plecos, I think they, they deserve a video. Like things like even common Plecos, like people buy common Plecos that they think they're so small. What's my biggest size tank? And thank you for stopping mid-sentence to answer all my questions. <laughs> kind of like right now, but it's fine. I like this. This is what, streams like this, I love. This is my biggest tank. It's a 125. Uh, that's an Oscar. He's about, I know he looks small over there like that. He's about 11 inches. Cool, Don. What, what kind of bristle nose do you have? Because... I know the stream kind of like died down. When you stream for an hour and 15 minutes, not everybody's going to watch the full thing. The, and by the way, check it out already. Steve is already moving around. What did I say? I know my Stingray like, like I know it like a dog or like a child. Like I know exactly how he acts. Like he's so beefy right now from eating. Um, but yeah. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna call it guys. I definitely do appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching. We've now been tuning doing this for an hour and twenty minutes. Uh, just over an hour and twenty minutes. So I definitely appreciate uh, how big you I'll, I always I always see the comments and I always like kinda get a little distracted and have to answer it. Some of us are all diehards. Have a good night, brother. Thanks, Don. Appreciate it, man. Um, stingrays get to be all different sizes. So my stingray specifically should, so males stay smaller, uh, than females. Thanks Rob. Appreciate it, man. Um, male stingrays are smaller than females. It's different from fish. A lot of fish, the males will get bigger. They'll get broader. They'll get the humps on their heads, uh, more colorful. Stingrays, they kind of look the same. The way you can tell the, the sex uh, apart is the claspers. Um, <laughs> right, look, it's something shiny. Um, that's kind of like the way I am. It's like, oh, wait, look. Or look, a comment. Uh, they're cla I'm not going to go into the whole... Uh, I'm not going to... I'm just looking at Steve now. He's looking at me. He's going crazy already. I'm not going to do a whole stinger thing. Stingrays can get anywhere between 10 inches to all the way up to 3 feet, depending on the type of stingray you have. But this stingray specifically should stay small. Should be ending up, I'm not really sure the exact dimensions or length or size, but should be topping off at about 10 to 15 inches max. It's a mini marble Matoro, if you ever want to do research on it. But guys, that is going to be it for this stream. I definitely appreciate you guys all coming by um, and enjoying this. Uh, I definitely had a great time tonight. Um, it's been a while since I last streamed. It's probably been about a month or so, three weeks. Um, I kind of want to get back into it and streaming. I won't stream next week at this time because... Thanks, Allie. Appreciate that. Um, I won't be streaming this time next week just because I will be on Bam Aquatics' live stream. So if you do want to see the stream or something kind of like it, well, not like it, it's going to be more like interview style. I'm going to be kind of sitting down like this. Um, 
but definitely tune in to BAM Aquatics channel. I can't put a link anywhere, um, but check him out on Google. Tonight was the first time I've been on in three years. Wow, that's great. Yeah, tonight was cool. I, I actually like tuned, I didn't really comment like a lot, but I was actually in there like for, I'd say 90% of the video. But I always do this. People who know me personally say I have really long goodbyes. I have not. Yes, there you go. Tank Talk Thursdays with Bam Aquatics. Um, I'm not bad at goodbyes. I just love people and love talking to people. So I have very long goodbyes. But that is it for this. If you are not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. If you did like this stream, you should subscribe. Um, I talked about a lot of different things tonight. I have a lot of videos on a lot of things that we spoke about. So check out some of those videos. For instance, the Stingray, I have a lot of Stingray content. Some of the foods, I have a food, uh, I have a food video. Oh, they were just fighting. They don't really fight like to death, but they fight like territory wise. We'll leave it on here. So if you do like the, you know, I do have a, con a lot of content on like a bunch of different stuff. So, you know, you're gonna wanna check it out. A lot of things I spoke about. So even for example, like, like I said, the stingray, the food, like calamanus worms, how to treat for calamanus, but I'm just making this a longer thing than it has to be. <laughs> Again, I don't know if I'm good, bad at goodbyes or whatever, but thanks for tuning into the live stream. I'll see you guys on Bam Aquatics channel next week. New content on Sunday, so you're going to want to see the video coming out this Sunday. Again, thanks for watching, everybody, and fish on. Good night. See you later, guys. There's Bam's URL. Cool. Thanks, Rob. <coughs> Appreciate that. Coughing now at the end. <laughs> Peace out, everybody. Thanks.